turn to storm cleanup now because the storms came in fast. They left even faster yesterday, but they did leave behind a mess in some neighborhoods, especially in Montgomery County. The main problem down trees. They fell on homes, cars and power lines. Suzanne Kennedy live in one of the hardest hit areas of Rockville tonight. Suzanne. Allison, I can tell you it is an absolute mess in this section of Montgomery County. If you take a look behind me here on Norback Road, you can see yellow caution tape, toppled trees and branches down. This scene is being repeated from block to block to block here. And in many cases, there are people outside trying to get things back to normal. The buzz of chainsaws and the rapid fire beat of wood chippers echoed through the Lake Manor neighborhood today. This Rockville community was among the hardest hit by Thursday's powerful storm. Oh, winds are heavy duty. Winds are, you know, I couldn't have, if I was out in the street in the front when it hit, I couldn't stand up. But just instant damage. Uh, it's, it's amazing how quick it is. This house on Bower Drive had six trees go down. Heavy machinery moved in this morning to start the removal process. The new owners were supposed to spend their first night here tonight. I was exactly in this uh, part of the house when I heard the big boom. So I ran into the basement. And when it became everything quiet, I went out and went out through the uh, this part. And I, after this, I saw so many trees. Deanne Weiler worried about this sycamore tree in her backyard. She had asked the Parks Commission several times to take it down. Yesterday's storm did the job. We got two holes in, this, in the dining room. Everything was covered. Um, tables, the rugs, the floors were covered with water. It's already started to go downstairs into the basement and the ceiling. High winds nailed the 4700 block of Norback Road. Nearly two dozen homes on one block were damaged. I mean, I think we all got hit pretty hard. Um, one neighbor lost a skylight. One neighbor, it looks like, um, you know, the, his garage kind of got had some structural damage. So we kind of got lucky. So yes, there was widespread property damage here in this section of Montgomery County, but there is a sense of gratitude here tonight that there weren't widespread power outages, at least not in this neighborhood. Reporting live from Rockville, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Suzanne. So now let's move over to Prince George's County, where Jennifer Donilon is assessing the damage there. Jen? Well, Allison, and listening to Suzanne's report there, Montgomery County definitely took a harder hit than Prince George's County. As we drove around the county today, this is what we saw. We saw down branches all over the place. More of these than those. That is a down tree behind me. But when the trees did come crashing down, it was terrifying for those who were at home. Time lapse video captured the storm in Riverdale. It was a beautiful summer day, then dark clouds moved in, and then it was as if a ferocious wave suddenly clobbered the area with heavy winds and rains. Just as quickly as it barreled through, it was over. Oh, the first thought was, whose house is it? And oh my gosh, is my neighbor okay? Sue Sumner's 85-year-old neighbor is staying with her for the time being after that fast-moving powerhouse storm ripped a tree out of the ground in the neighbor's backyard in West Laurel. The 85-year-old woman and her 59-year-old daughter, who neighbors said suffers from Down syndrome, had just watched a tornado warning blaring on their TV screen. They were standing at the head of the basement stairs, which is maybe... 10 feet from where the, the tree um, came through the roof. One resident said what hit the block looked like two walls of water coming from different angles, like waves suspended in air, and it surrounded the woman's house. So she has an electric chair that, that uh, traverses the stairwell into the basement, so they were preparing to use that. The woman and her daughter survived, but damage from the tree was so extensive, they're not allowed to live in the home right now. Other neighbors were shaken by what could have happened to their longtime friend. It's going to be very hard for her to adjust to this kind of disaster because she already has health issues. Now that tree came crashing down around 430 yesterday afternoon and 1030 last night. The 85 year old woman had to be taken to the hospital because the stress was getting to her. She does suffer from some heart problems, but we can guarantee you that entire neighborhood surrounding both her and her daughter at this hour. Reporting live from Lanham, I'm Jennifer Donnell in ABC 7 News. Thank you.